Darrell Spencer, General Manager of the National Solar Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, says becoming a little warden is a civic honor. Persons must have national pride and a sense of social responsibility. We tend a lot of time to see them as, you know, making the, the environment aesthetically pleasing, the place looking good and so forth. But waste improperly managed will affect negatively on our economy and our health. He says of the 13 individuals who apply for the job, eight successfully completed the 12-week training program and of those eight, seven were hired. This brings the total number of little wardens to eight. Spencer says their goal is to have 15 functioning little wardens. He tells ABS, the Little Act also places the responsibilities of a little warden on a number of government officials, including parliamentarians and law enforcement officers. Spencer says there is a monetary incentive to becoming a little warden. He says when persons are charged under the Little Act, the little warden will receive 25% of the cash value of the fine. The NSWMA general manager tells ABS, the fixed penalty for a regular citizen caught littering is $1,000. Corporate entities face a minimum charge of $3,000. The charge, the maximum charge to be issued by a magistrate is $5,000 for the individual and for a company it goes up to $15,000. Yvonne Benjamin is a little warden with 31 years of experience under her belt. She was crucial in training the new group of little wardens. Benjamin says it is a difficult job, but it's worth it in the end. What are the hardest parts about the job for you? When you come in contact with persons who refuse, blatantly refuse, to adhere to the laws of the land. And is that often? Very often. Very, very often. She credits Indira James Henry, Environment Implementation Coordinator within the Ministry of Health and the Environment, for spearheading the initiative. Benjamin says while she has immense faith in the women coming forward as little wardens, she is hopeful there will be more men applying for the job. Rakib Aparisi reporting for ABS News.